What's going on you guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create TikTok video ads. Now before we get into that, I just want to show you my store right now just so you can see we do have a bunch of sales coming through right now and this right here is the total sales for the day so far. Um, and I'm just going to refresh this real quick and I just want to show you guys this just so that you can see that I am in fact making sales. The store is doing pretty well and I just want to show you this just so that you have some proof so you know you can trust what I'm about to show you. Okay, so we're going to pick up kind of where we left off in my last video. And the way that we're going to do that is I'm going to actually create ads for that winning product that we found in my past video. Now, first, just to show you, this is the winning ad right here. So as you can see, look how amazing this is. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This isn't a product. That's absolutely crazy. That's huge. So the product that we're going to be doing is actually that photo and video light. Now, just to give you an example, we were able to find that product by using this technique where we actually went through typed in viral light on TikTok and it, pre it presented us with all these different results. And now we're going to create an ad based off that. So first, I'm just going to show you an ad. I couldn't find one of this exact product. I could only find one of a similar product. Uh, and I just want to show you this just so that you can see what kind of what a bad ad looks like. And then you're going to see what the ad is that I created and how that looks. So you can see the contrast and you can get an idea of what a winning ad will actually look like compared to a really bad ad. So if we go ahead and we just watch this video, you'll see the beginning is very boring. It's low quality. It's got just a bunch of random like stuff. Like it's got that video box thing around it, which honestly I don't think is a good thing. Um, it, it just all around doesn't look good. Even when the product's being used, it doesn't make her look much better. So it kind of demonstrates the product in a bad way and then also makes the product look bad because it didn't actually work that good. So what we want to do is we want to create better ads and this is how you're going to get more conversions. So let's go ahead. Let's take a look at the ad that I created. So this right here is going to be the ad that I created. Now you're going to notice a couple things when it comes to the ad that I created. First thing is I like to add music that connects to the product. So this product is exciting. It's, it's beauty. It's glamorous. It's something that's going to make the viewer feel like they're going to look better. And then on top of that, the product itself is something that is supposed to kind of get people talking. So it's supposed to have like that high energy. Second thing you're going to notice is down here, I have these little sections right here, um, which are actually vocals. So a way that you can do this is, of course, you can create your own vocals or you can go ahead and you can just find vocals of someone talking on TikTok and throw it in there. Again, use that as your own discretion. Um, and a big disclaimer for this, just make sure when you're using other people's content for your ads, uh, try to not put their faces in the video as much as possible. That's kind of the best tip that I can give you. So let's just go ahead, let's look at this, and then I'm gonna break it down and explain why I structured it this way. You guys need this light. Okay, so as you can see, short and sweet, um, but a lot of great stuff in there. And this is what we need to get going when we create our TikTok ads. So quick breakdown, you're going to notice the two vocal sections. So the first vocal section is this one right here. You guys need this light. So you guys need this light right away. It's kind of creating that sense of like, why do I, why, wait, why do I need this light? What the heck even is this light? Like I'm seeing this thing. It looks cool. Why do I need it? So it creates that first person allure where we're telling the people that they need something and we're also addressing them directly. So it's not, um, this light is amazing or this light is awesome. It's you need this light. So we're directly addressing the audience and telling them something about the product. And then we got the music of course, playing in the background. Now we have the product demonstrated at the beginning. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to show them what the product is. So that it's very, very clear when they see the results, they know that the results are because of that product that they just saw, but you're going to see this clip where I'm demonstrating the product right here. It's literally just a titch over one second. And this is what I was talking about in my past video. When it comes to actually showing the product as opposed to the results of the product, try to demonstrate it as slow as possible, especially when it comes to or try to demonstrate it as small as possible, especially when it comes to features and stuff like that. So we got about a little over one second. 
and then we get right into the actual content. So not only do we show uh, the content with video, so you can see here it's clearly being videoed. In this section, we actually go and we show some clips of the video. So we actually show what it would look like if you were to take some photos. So we're demonstrating the product in two different ways. You can see right here, it's the product taking the video. And then right here, we got clip, clip, clip. Uh, so we got the product demonstrated in a couple different ways when it comes to if you actually want to use it for photos as well. Then we go and we just nail it hard how well this product works. And ideally, if you have a good spread of different types of ethnicities for your models, you're going to want to demonstrate the product working on several different models because it's going to give people a personal feel where they're gonna feel like, okay, maybe I have that color skin, that's how it's gonna look for me. So you wanna demonstrate it with several different types of people. So we have a couple different types of people, as you can see right here, demonstrating the product, how well it works. And then we have this ending that's just exciting. And then of course we have the call to action at the end. Now you wanna structure it this way because it's gonna create interest in the product at the beginning, and then it's gonna create additional interest in the product result at the beginning because we're showing the product result, And then we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna keep telling them, this is how good it works. This is how good it works. This is how good it works. And then we go ahead and we end with a massive call to action at the end right here. Um, one key thing that I like to do that actually has produced really good results with my TikTok ads is layering vocals. So a video like this, let's just go ahead and let's remove these vocals. And I'm just going to show you kind of how boring it is. So you can see it still is a little bit exciting because the music, of course, is directly connected to that product. So it's, of course, going to be a little bit exciting. But the vocals the vocals just add that extra little bit of excitement because it makes it more personable. So when we add in the vocals, you get that kind of connection with people because it's a person talking. It's not just a video demonstrating a product. So you guys need this light. Boom. Just like that. We're catching their attention. We're drawing them in and then we're demonstrating the product. And then we go ahead. Like, are you kidding? Absolutely hilarious. Perfect vocals, and I just found these in a video. That's how easy it can be. You can just find these vocals and go ahead and use them in your videos. Or of course, if you want, you can go ahead and get models and actually get them done for your videos. Now, like I said, you do wanna make sure that you're going and using video content without too many people's faces in there if you are gonna do the clipping method. But if you aren't gonna do the clipping method, um, you can of course ideally put as many faces in there as possible. Possible. And then by the end of it, you're going to have a video ad like this that's going to generate a ton of sales. It's going to make your product blow up because it has that virality, it has that connectivity, it has that personal touch, and it has demonstrations with so many different kinds of people, different skin tones, which is what people want to see, especially when it comes to beauty products. It's incredibly important. I hope this video helped you all out. If it did, go ahead, subscribe to the channel and like the video, and I'll see you all in the next one.